friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is the start of my Zodiac Readathon reading vlog. And I did talk about a bit about the Zodiac Readathon on my November TBR. I talked about the prompts and all of that. I will go through them again and show you what I'm reading. Again, just as a reminder. But the Zodiac Readathon, it's running all month long of November. And I'm just starting now because I was reading for the first two weeks of November. I was reading Cloud Cuckoo Land. Took me forever because it's 600 pages long. But now I can dive into some fantasy books. <laughs> so like I said, the Zodiac Readathon is running all month long. It's basically only about three to four prompts. It depends on whether or not you want to do the fourth one. It's kind of optional. But basically this one's run, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna forget, but I will link everyone down below. I know that it's Darumi's Digest and I know that it's Rachel from Let Me in the Library and everyone else. I'm so sorry because there's so many um, hosts, so I will link them down below, but it's run by amazing amazing beautiful people here on booktube i am wearing my little libra necklace you can't even see it i'm low-key obsessed with this outfit i'm wearing like all black and white i'll show it to you but yeah i'm wearing all black and white and then this like red headband and my little libra necklace and i'm living for it but back to the readathon basically you do your chart i look listen i don't know what time i was born because my mom can't ever remember what time i was born so this isn't very accurate obviously i know that i'm a libra but with everything else like rising and moon and all of that i don't know if this is accurate so i just went ahead because i think my mom said that i was born after 7 p.m or 8 p.m so i did something around that time and I chose like whatever it said on the chart that that's what I did and I will read it to you in a second Honestly, I should have just looked at my birth certificate So it's somewhere in the house. I just I was lazy and I didn't do it But yeah, so basically yeah, you did your chart and you looked at your moon rising sun uh, signs and Then you looked at the prompt and you chose a book and that was pretty much it. <laughs> so really quickly um for Rising Sun, I am a Libra, and this one was read a book chosen by a poll, and this could not be more accurate, honestly, because I, every time that I'm picking something up, I always do a poll on my Instagram. I'm so indecisive, and I always need to know what everyone else thinks. Like, I want someone else to make the decision for me, so this is very accurate so props to all of you um the host that made the prompts because that was like super accurate and i've heard like a lot of people doing the, their videos and saying like whoa that like really hit close to home so yes so for that i obviously don't have like a specific book but i will be doing a poll on instagram later on and i'm gonna do between a vow so bold and deadly and legendborn so y'all will be choosing i have a feeling that everyone's gonna choose legendborn but we'll see also like i mentioned earlier all of these books are fantasy so yes this one's the third book in a series that i still haven't completed and it's a kind of like a beauty and the beast retelling and legendborn i genuinely know nothing about and i'm really excited to just go into it that way um but it is obviously fantasy i think it's more urban fantasy so i'm really excited to read this the next uh prompt is your moon sign or rise moon rising i think i don't know for the rising moon thing i don't know <laughs> supposedly i'm a gemini but it's not accurate but for this it said to read a book with an unreliable narrator or lots of plot twists and i was a little bit extra and from all of the books from my november tbr i went on goodreads and did like the little find um like the control f and i did the little find thing on goodreads and i chose the book that had the word twists the most and like in a good sense like if it said like twists and it had like a one or two star rating i didn't count it so it was all four or five stars and the one book that had the word twists the most under their goodreads reviews does that make sense i don't know but that book is defy the night by bridget Kemmerer, and this one's also like i mentioned a fantasy book i know nothing about this book but i'm really really excited because i love bridget Kemmerer's writing and her characters are really really strong so i have a feeling that i'm really gonna love this i've heard great things on goodreads i haven't heard much many people talk about this book like on bookstagram or like any of my friends like close friends so i'm excited to give it a go um 
all I can see from the cover it says a spark of rebellion is all it takes so I'm really excited to read this yes <laughs> and the last prompt is for the rising so it's the <sighs> And supposedly I am a rising Gemini and it is to read a book recommended by someone you know in real life so this one I kind of stretched just a little bit because I chose for that book blood like magic by um, Lizelle Simberry and the reason why I chose this is because this is Jan's uh, my good friend here on booktube Jan Agaton her full moon book club pick for the month of November. Um, I really wanted to get to this, so I chose it for this prompt because I have met Jan, so I guess we do know each other IRL, and if, if it's her book club pick, that means that she's recommending people to read it, so yes. <laughs> this one, like I said, also, it's a fantasy. This one's more like witchy, and I've actually started this yesterday, and I am loving this book. I'm almost halfway through. And this one's more witchy. This one's about a girl. In order to become a witch and have her powers, they have to go through these like tests. And some people get worse tests and some people get easier tests. And she has the task of finding her uh, first love and killing him. So I listen, I'm loving this book. And it's a little bit like sci fi fantasy. I'm really enjoying it so far. So yeah. So obviously this is the book that I'm starting with for this vlog. So yes, these are all the four books that I'm planning on reading for this Zodiac Readathon vlog. Um, obviously they're all fantasy and I was honestly in the mood. I am usually not really a fantasy reader, but this month for November I was really feeling it for some reason. I am definitely hoping to get to all of these, but I know that it might not be possible. And today is Tuesday, November 16th, and I will be doing this vlog for a week, so until next Tuesday, because um, on Wednesday next week, it, I will start a new vlog, which is my road trip vlog to go meet my bestie here on booktube, Bar um, Camila from Borrows and Books. So yeah, I will have a week to read all four of these books, and I don't think that will happen, but that's okay and i am also going to be starting a counter um somewhere on the screen throughout this vlog of how many times i talk about my trip next week to go visit camila it might be should i do a counter for how many times to say camila in this video yeah i think i'm gonna do the cami counter um because yeah i'm really excited i it like hit me this morning that i'm going to go drive to new jersey by the way i'm driving seven hours to new jersey to go visit cami i'm renting a car and this is the first time that i ever do a road trip or ever drive that long like i've only ever driven like one hour at once um, and I'm scared, but excited. Um, it's Cammie's birthday also that weekend that I'm visiting her, and we're doing Friendsgiving with a couple other booktube friends, uh, Renee, Christina, I think Kat is coming, um, uh, but yeah, it's super exciting, and yes, let's start the Cammie counter. I'm visiting Camila next week. Yes! <laughs> Good morning, friends! Today is Thursday, November 18th, and I'm actually heading out. Um, I have a long day ahead of me of work, and just a whole bunch of things. So I wanted to say that I haven't been updating this vlog because basically my days have been consisting of pretty much waking up, going to the gym, coming home from the gym, showering, working till like 6 or 8, and then reading Blood Like Magic by Liz Silsenberry. So I feel so horrible because I haven't updated this vlog at all, and I actually finished this book last night. And it just sucks because I wish I would have like updated regularly and given my thoughts like throughout so I could look back at this. But I didn't do it that way so I'm just going to tell you my thoughts now. <laughs> so I ended up giving this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I love this book. I think I mentioned that I picked this up for Jan's uh, book club. And the discussion is tomorrow and I'm super excited for the discussion because I adored this book. So... I've mentioned what the book's about and I will say that a couple of the things that I just loved about this book was the POV, like our main character is just a young curvy black young woman and she's the hero, she's the main character and she's the hero of the story and her POV was really enlightening. I loved her family and just a lot of the topics in this book that I'll get into in just a 
few seconds um, but there's trans rep in this book this book talks about police violence and substance abuse the romance in this book was just chef's kiss I adored it and it was very nostalgic this felt like a book that I would have read when I was like a teenager and I feel like I haven't read a fantasy book that made me feel like that recently and this did it for me <laughs> So this book also talks about like the true meaning of love and family and your first love and just many forms like all the forms of love <laughs> the ending i feel like it wasn't as strong i feel like throughout the whole book there's this all of these elements and i was hoping that they would all connect um in like a great way and it didn't but i still gave it five out of five stars because i loved all of the topics that it talked about like all of the characters the family elements like all of that, I loved it, so I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> but yeah, obviously I'm done with Blood Like Magic, so the next step is um, reading another book. So I think I'm going to be picking up uh, The Fi the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. I'm sorry, I look crazy doing my skincare, but yeah. So I didn't know much about this book. I only picked it up because it's fantasy and uh, Bridget Kemmerer wrote it, and I loved Bridget Kemmerer's uh, Curse Breaker series. So that's why I picked it up. I feel like she's really good at writing fantasy only because she wrote so much contemporary and I feel like fantasies for me are really strong if they have really good characters and she's really really good at writing characters. So that's why I picked this up. But um, I actually read the back of this a few minutes ago so I'm going to tell you what this book's about. So basically this book is set in this kingdom called Kandala and it's like in the brink of disaster. So there is like this sickness that has been going around this kingdom. Um, there's no name that I see from the synopsis but there is like a cure and it's a moonflower petal but that it's very limited so yeah the king is like struggling to get all these people healthy and like kind of controlling the moonflower petal and who gets it and who doesn't and i'm assuming people that are like richer and that are like in the royal families get this moonflower petal easier than poor people so that's one point of view i'm assuming we're gonna hear from the prince but then there is another point of view from in the wild and it is from tessa and she's like an apothecary apprentice and i love that i'm really excited one of my favorite books of the year is the lost apothecary and i just adore that book and the vibes so i'm hoping that this book gives me the same vibes but yeah, Tessa, she's an apothecary apprentice and her best friend, um, they are just tired of seeing all these people suffer and being sick. So they go out every night in like these really um, dangerous hunts for the moonflower petal, but they're running out. So I think at some point Tessa is going to um, sneak into the palace and then she just sees things that, you know, she wished she wouldn't have seen. So i am stoked to start this book tonight i obviously haven't started it because i finished blood like magic last night and i was hoping to start this but i just didn't do it i just took a little break so i will be starting this today hopefully after work and then on my story last night i did a poll for that the oh my god can i speak <laughs> for the prompt where people were going to choose the book that i read through a poll i did legendborn and a vow so bold and deadly which are right here so so yeah i did a poll between these two and it's up on my instagram story right now i'll put the graphic right here for a few seconds but yeah i put it up last night just so i can be prepared for what i'm reading after defy the night so yeah those are the updates i'm about to go to the library um to return blood like magic because that was a book like a hold that i had normally i would pluck my eyebrows right now but your girl has an appointment monday morning to get her eyebrows done because of my trip to go see camila i wanted to like get my eyebrows done and get my nails done so my nails is tomorrow and then my eyebrows is on monday morning so i'm super excited so yeah i'm just going to curl my eyebrows uh, my eyebrows <laughs> I'm going to curl my lashes now and then I'm gonna head out um, to work and I'll update you when I start um, Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. I'm really excited to read this. <laughs> I 
I just wanted to say that today I started the Fight the Night by Bridget Kemmer and today's Friday, November 19th. I didn't read at all yesterday, Thursday, because I got on with my friends on a stream. And Camila um, just read our fortunes. She has like a tarot card deck that I actually gifted her for her birthday. And she was just reading our fortunes. So that's what we did last night. So today I actually got my nails done. I got a little cow print moment <laughs> on my nails and i worked and then just now i started defy the night by bridget Cameron. i only read two chapters so i think i'm only like 30 pages in i am really enjoying it but i will update you more about this book later but right now i am going to be tackling moving some things in my room it's literally 8 p.m but i just got like a rush of energy i think i'm gonna have a coffee in a few seconds i probably shouldn't but i'm going to do it but right now my room is very small so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this lamp that's right behind me and this fan because this lamp i never turn on like ever so i'm gonna put it away and then the fan obviously is winter so i don't really need the fan at the moment and then i have this desk oh my god right over here and i never sit on this desk like ever and and I don't really know why because I like the feeling of sitting on a desk, but I think it's the placement. So I think I'm going to move this desk over here, like right in front of my window. And then I'm going to move this bookshelf where the desk is now, which is right next to my other bookshelf. So I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I'm about to do all of that, pour some coffee and move all of these things around and just film myself doing it. So I feel more productive. <laughs> So I finished moving some stuff around and cleaning around my room. So I have two bags over here of like clothes that I just don't wear and some purses. And then I moved my desk is now over here next to my vanity. And then my bookshelf that was over there is now right over here. So yeah, the bookshelf's over here now, which gives me the opportunity of buying another one of these bookshelves and putting it on top of this one. And now I don't like it that's why i went like thumbs down earlier because the desk is way too big so i think tomorrow i'm going to tj maxx and getting like a small table i just don't like the desk like it's way too big um hey that's me um but yeah i'm gonna get a smaller table and then i also don't really like the desk chair i also think it's like ginormous so i think i'm gonna go buy i'm gonna go buy like a smaller chair for it but yeah um, I don't like the desk, it's way too big, but I will get a small table, and I've been looking at, um, Reagan from Purse Project, she has, like, desk goals, or, like, honestly, house decor goals, so I've been looking at her Instagram just now to get some inspo, but I think I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods in the morning and buy a little table. Also, I'm about to lay in bed over there, um, I poured... A little bit of coffee as I showed earlier and I'm gonna read Defy the Night. Sorry for the terrible lighting. Here we go, kind of. Um, yeah, I'm about to lay in bed and read Defy the Night and yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs>
I'm coming at you with a quick update. So I'm actually on my new desk. I showed it a little bit uh, throughout the clips. So I ended up uh, switching my bookshelf and my desk and I bought a new one. It's a tiny little white desk but it's exactly what I was looking for and I also bought like a dining table chair. It's like brown leather and i love it i think this just like tied my whole room together because i used to have a black desk and i just felt like it didn't really match even though my bookshelves are black but yeah but yeah yesterday i was supposed to go see christmas lights but it was really busy and we were never able to find parking so we ended up getting uh dinner at this mediterranean place and then we just ended up going home and baking some cookies and just hanging out me and my boyfriend also and then i bought the desk today and the chair so my boyfriend helped me uh build this desk today and well he didn't help me he just did it for me so and then I had a mess in my room because everything that was on my desk was on my bed. So I cleaned my room and I just read a little bit more of The Fi the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. And I am halfway through this book now. So yes, I'm halfway through. I am loving this book. Like I mentioned, this book is a fantasy and it's mostly about like this kingdom called Kandala that has this disease. And the only way that you can get cured is with this moonflower and it just has a lot of political intrigue there is a romance at the heart of this book and i am loving this book and this was so correct in the way that there's so many little twists throughout this novel and i'm just really really enjoying this book who would have thunk naomi liking fantasy which i never like fantasy and i'm adoring this book um truly i feel like for me it has always been like a mix of like really good characters and then also a mix of like a really good plot like it just has to be a really good mix like i'm not really character driven uh person if the plot is shit or like if the plot is really good but the characters are bad like i can't connect so it just has to be a really good mix and this one for me specifically it's a really good mix of both so yeah i'm loving all the characters there is a dual pov so loving that we love to see dual povs when it's romance uh but yeah i am truly loving the political intrigue in this book and right now our main character like i mentioned it says it in the synopsis that she um she sneaks into the palace so now she kind of has been like discovered and she's trying to like find a reason for them to not kill her and be like useful asset to the palace so that's where we are right now in the story i i'm really loving this this has to be a series like there's no way that this is just a standalone so i will most likely definitely continue this series and then bridget kemmerer also wrote the curse breaker series and i still haven't read the finale which is about so bold and deadly so i definitely will be picking that up now i think i'm going to be picking that up in december for the merry and bright readathon so yeah but yes that is the update i actually got ready to go i'll show you my outfit in a few seconds but i got ready because we weren't able to see christmas lights last night so now we're gonna go see the christmas lights we're obviously stopping at barnes and noble it's we have to um and yeah i think we might got, grab some dinner and then i'll be back home. so here's the outfit i am wearing a black turtleneck and my little moon earrings um, this red slash orangey cardigan, this like little maxi skirt is kind of like a cheetah print, uh, some tights, and I will be wearing some black booties with this because it's kind of cold and we're going to be outside looking at lights, so I want it to be warm. <laughs>
makeup because I'm about to film a little unboxing of something that was sent to me by a really special company um, and you'll see that literally the next clip um, but I'm doing my makeup for that and then I'm also uh, going to be filming a little like outfit book as outfit type of thing I've been doing I've been posting them as reels on my Instagram and then I'm gonna take all of those clips for all of the books that I read in the month of November and I'm gonna use that for my wrap-up I hope that makes sense but you'll see that later on for my November wrap-up but um, I'm doing it also for the by the night it's a little lavender dress and I'm about to do my eye makeup a little pink so it matches but I wanted to come on here and say that I finished the by the night last night and I'm gonna talk a little bit about my feelings about this book so I'm gonna put the book down I might put a picture on the screen but I'm talking about the by the night by Bridget Kemmerer and I'm gonna be looking this way because I am doing my eye makeup all right so <laughs> I feel like this is so hard for me to do multitask okay um so i finished uh defy the night by bridget camera last night um i really enjoyed my reading experience with this book i feel like i read it very very quickly um for a fantasy book that was almost 500 pages long i ended up giving this book a four out of five stars um like i said i really enjoyed it i love the characters and like i mentioned earlier there was a really good mix of plot and really good characters in this novel i just feel like at some point like um a little bit after halfway through the novel i feel like things just weren't happening as much anymore in the plot and yeah i feel like that's why it's a four out of five also this pink blush like i can't even see it in my eyes like it's not doing anything okay i'm back i literally just had a little mini heart attack because i just dropped my camera and like the screen almost wasn't like coming up and i just had a mini heart attack because i thought i broke my camera <sighs> but anyway that just gave me so much anxiety i just literally thought that i broke my vlog camera like right before my trip to go see cami oh my god okay so what i was saying was that at some point like a little bit after halfway through the novel i just feel like not a lot was happening there was a big plot twist i felt like but i felt like the plot twist literally happens like a hundred pages in i feel like and i don't think there were that many plot twists afterwards like there were many ones but like they weren't as shocking as the original one and that's what i was expecting throughout the novel so yeah i did really enjoy it i think it was a really good solid like first novel in a series because it's definitely gonna be a series it ended kind of like not open-ended but like i know there's gonna be more happening so yeah i really enjoyed it so i'm gonna give it a four out of five and this book just made me really want to read a vows of bold and deadly which is the last book in the curse breaker series because Bridget Kemmerer's writing is just so good that like it's just addicting to me. I really love it. So yeah. I don't do eye makeup ever but I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to put some of this on my eyelids and try to do eyeliner. And then the next clip that you're seeing should be the unboxing. <laughs> hello so i am here with the little unboxing portion of this video so on the title it should say that this is also a zodiac not a zodiac a crystal unboxing um this company called a ovilla i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing that incorrectly um but a ovilla um reached out to me and they wanted to send me a little like mini version of their um crystals so basically right now they have a collection they have the 12 zodiacs sign crystal set which is literally perfect because this is the zodiac readathon vlog so i thought this would be perfect to put in this video so thank you so much ao villa for thinking of me uh for sending me these crystals i am so excited to unbox this uh these are available on amazon and i will put all of their links down below like instagram facebook their amazon store all of that will be down below but i want to show you what they look like and what you can use them for because i'm super excited to try these out obviously Obviously, I don't have the 12 zodiac signs, so I actually haven't opened this and seen like which ones they sent me, but this is what it looks like. So it comes with a little bag. So, like, if you're traveling, like me tomorrow, I'm going to Jersey to see Camila. So I honestly might take some with me to Jersey. And it comes with these little cards, and I'm assuming these 
kind of say like what they're used for and these are beginners so if you don't know anything about crystals like me um these are very very helpful because i know nothing i know camila and renee who i'm also meeting this weekend they know a little bit about crystals and they're actually might be going to like a crystal type of store in jersey but i know nothing so this is a really good set to begin with so this box is a little different but whenever you order yours like you order your zodiac sign or if you want to gift this to someone for christmas which is an amazing like little christmas gift it would come with a set of six crystals based on their zodiac sign that would like help them like i'm a libra so if i ordered the libra set it would come with six crystals that would help me like the most due to my zodiac sign if that makes any sense and they also come with a little booklet explaining what all the crystals are about and how they will help you like improve your life so these even say that like if you like meditation or yoga or any sports like these really help for all of that um i haven't opened them so they all look like this i will be saying like the zodiac sign and what some of the crystals are for okay so first off i got a selenite stick i gotta check the card to make sure that i'm not missing anything so on the card it also says their website and it says they have an instructional video which i will probably be looking at because i'm not too sure about any of these uh crystals but the first one is a selenite stick and this one charges other crystals enhances clarity um dispels negative energy and cleaning by itself that's so cool and then we have a selenite scraper oh my god skyscraper that actually looks like a skyscraper that is so cool um and this was more for meditation and removing negativity and all of that and then we have an amethyst geode oh my god this is so pretty i should be taking these out of the plastic this is the amethyst oh my god it matches my outfit um the amethyst geode and this one's for like purification meditation and spiritual awareness not me smelling it thinking it has a smell <laughs> Okay, so I don't think I got the zodiac sign one, but that's okay because I literally, you can always look up like on Google or something like which um, like crystals would be best for you. And I'm sure that I will have at least one because I, in this box, there's like at least 12 um, uh, crystals that they sent me. So look at this, like this is the second package and like I have all of these crystals. <laughs> they sent me so many so i'll go through them really quickly but this one's a green amethyst green is my favorite color luck wealth prosperity prosperity and balance that's so cool i might take one with me to jersey like on my drive there for like relaxation because i'm like super stressed about the drive because i've never driven that long for seven hours so yeah and then we have a carnelian for courage protection balance i am definitely going to be showing all of these to renee and camila because i feel like they know more much more about this than i do here's another amethyst and asking them like how to use these and all of that but oh not one for self-confidence i definitely need that one the self-confidence one is the citron these are so pretty too oh my god like i just got a new desk like i showed earlier and i would literally just put these on my desk also as decoration like i'll stop taking them out of the back because i'm putting them out and in the back but then we have a smoky quartz these are so pretty then we have a little soda light for self-expression intuition truth these honestly anyone that likes like like zodiac signs and all of that they would love this so i honestly think this is an amazing christmas gift or like a birthday present or anything so this is so cool and then we have a clear quartz for balance body clarity and amplifies energy then we have the tourmaline oh my gosh this one's huge it's black that's so pretty tourmaline is for protection grounding stress release we have the little desert rose oh my god that's so pretty i gotta take this one out oh my god that is so pretty hold on look at that it's called the desert rose and this one for self-worth spirit guide heart-centered awareness and access to futures slash past lives honestly i'm gonna probably give this to renee because she was just talking about like um 
past and future lives recently like we were on a live and we were doing like um tarot card readings and she kept talking about that so i think she might enjoy that we have another rose quartz unconditional love emotional healing confidence and kindness i honestly also think that my sister would love these um i think she would find these like super helpful we have a black onyx onyx for strength, intuition, protection, ease, grief. We have a moonstone, hope, intuition, power for energy, emotional balance. Yes. We have a rose quartz, love, trust, compassion, and, compassion, and emotional healing. Oh my god, there's so many. There's only like three left. We have a red jasper, grounding, protection, balance, cleaning, and negative energy. Then a gold tiger eye, courage, confidence, balance, and inner strength. We also have a tumble soda light for guidance, communication, emotional balance, and speaking truth. And last but not least, we have an Amazonite. I'm going to take this one out because I love the color. And this one is emotional balance, loving unconditionally, peace, and understanding. I need to. Can I focus, please? Also forgiveness, so this is cute. <laughs> right, so this was the box, and it also comes in a really, really nice box, like look at this like it comes in here and if i were to take all of these out of the back and like put them oh my god not them falling and put them in here like i just think that would look so nice like i'm not too sure if you are allowed to put like all of the crystals together i don't know if that does anything but i might look more into it but thank you so much ao villa for thinking of me um and sending me these crystals i really appreciate it these are so cool and i will definitely be looking more into their website and like their instructional video and and their social media um, to learn more about how to use these like I said a million times I think this is a great Christmas uh, present so if you haven't bought a Christmas present yet for someone that you love and you think that they would like these crystals you should definitely go to their Amazon and buy these I'm definitely going to be taking some with me to New Jersey all right so that was a little unboxing portion of this video right now I'm actually going to be working and I will be starting legend born today but like I mentioned today I have to finish this vlog because tomorrow I go to Jersey to see Camila in New Jersey um so I will be vlogging uh that separately so if you do I obviously won't be finishing Legendborn but if you do want to hear my thoughts about Legendborn uh you can watch that other vlog that will co that will go up after this one but I'm about to put all these away and I'm heading out and I will catch you up later hello friends um i am at work right now and i just wanted to update that i never started legend born today i actually ended up editing all of those clips that i filmed earlier and then i ended up editing a tiktok i went to best buy um to get a few things and i just got to work because we have a class late at night so i have to be here um for the class to open uh the building and everything so i'm here now and class ends at 8 p.m. I will get home, probably shower, and start packing for my trip to go see Camila in New Jersey tomorrow. So I'm imagining that I won't be reading too much tonight, that I'll have an update. So I think that this is the end of the Zodiac Readathon slash Big 3 Readathon vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, if you, I am so excited for the next vlog because I'll be in Jersey with my friends, friends giving, all of the things. So if you're excited for that, um, just stay tuned for the next video. And I will be taking with me uh, the most beautiful girl in Cuba and Legendborn for New Jersey. So if you want to hear my thoughts about those books, uh, watch my next vlog. But yeah, I think that's it for this vlog. I will catch you in the next vlog with Cammie. <laughs> Bye!